This is what a uh, 2M3055 looks like when you chop the can off. It's a fairly modern one. As you can see, the, the die is, is reasonably small, but uh, much larger than some of the other transistors I've been cutting open today looking for one that can detect radiation. Inside this aluminium tamale here is a, uh, is a simple amplifier. You can hear the buzz. It's coming from the, the lights that we have. They're fluorescent, so they're generating a 100 hertz noise that's being picked up. Now, here we have an americium source. And here, each click is a uh, an alpha particle producing uh, some current in the diode that I've wired up in the transistor. It's uh, well, that buzz is really annoying. Unfortunately, I can't simply shield the entire thing. If I put additional aluminium foil over it to uh, encapsulate the entire device, the alpha radiation from this americium source doesn't make it through. And for some reason, I can't detect the uh, the gamma emissions from the americium. I'm not entirely sure why. I figured perhaps um, the silicon just simply isn't big enough to absorb much of the gamma energy. Neither can I, uh, I detect X-rays with this rig, which surprised me greatly. It might be that the uh, amplifier is just too noisy. I'm going to try a different circuit. This is uh, basically Burkhard's circuit that he posted last week with the uh, the two BC547Cs. Uh, I suspect the 2 meg 2 feedback resistor that I'm using is a uh, carbon film resistor which could be one of the reasons why it's so darn noisy. So, yeah, a little bit more work, but uh, as solid state detectors go, this thing, as far as counts per second from the americium source alpha particles go, it's about the same as what I get with a um, my best um, Geiger counter. So, yeah, the solid state detector is not doing too bad for a you know, hacked open transistor. So here we are in subdued light. You can hear the hiss, which is basically the uh, electrical noise of the amplifier. You can also hear the clicking from my Geiger counter here. And the flashes. The uh, electrical, sig electrical discharge from the Geiger counter is actually being amplified by the uh, very high impedance front end because of the, the lack of complete electrostatic shielding. But as you can see, we're still getting clicks from the, uh, the americium source. You can see here on the, uh, the crow. There are, there are different amplitudes, which I think might have to do with exactly where the uh, alpha particle hits the detector. Watching the pancake uh, tube in the dark is, uh, is quite cool, isn't it? With all the little neon flashes. Kind of gives you an idea roughly where the particle hit it. Anyway, um, yeah, this, this amplifier is just, let me turn the go kind of. This amplifier is just too noisy for uh, detecting very small um, amplitude pulses like you probably see with gamma radiation. I figure that uh, higher impedance is required. The input impedance of this amplifier is not particularly high, even with the bootstrapping. The, uh, I'm sure I could do better with a, with a FET front end uh, like Charles Wenzel's um, little, well, he calls it a Geiger counter, but I actually have one of uh, Charles Wenzel's photo cells. He sent me some um, of the photo dyes that he used, and uh, I attempted to use them in this circuit, but I, I couldn't get any um, any output at all, even with the alpha source because of the plastic encapsulation around the uh, around the diode. I'll um, I'll try again, obviously with the with the high impedance FET input and, uh, and see how that goes. Alrighty.